Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video, 2E0IQJ. So in this week's video, I thought I'd dig out my old uh, Radio Shack DX394 shortwave receiver and uh, have a little go. And I used to use this back in the day, we used to listen to uh, Voice of America, all the states from all over the world, and I used to listen to 20 meters, 40 meters um, amateur bands. This is uh, got AM, upper side band, low side band, carrier wave 1 and carrier wave 2. But in this video, we're going to tune below 150 kilohertz. We're going to listen to ELO and VLO. Now, all DX394s can do this. You just enter in the combination on the keypad, and you can tune to ELO and VLO. So if you've got an old DX394, dig it out and give it a try. But when I tried this before, uh, I plugged it in with the main supply, and all I was getting was a lot of interference, like mains hum. So I'm running off a battery. So hopefully we ain't going to get no interference. So how do we go below 150 kilohertz? Well, if you start tuning the dial, 150, go back. It says 509, nine, go up, 150. So what we need to do is on the keypad, press limit, program, one, frequency, and enter. And look at that display. It now says one, zero. And at the moment the radio's on upper side band. So let's give it some volume and see what, see what we can hear. So far we're getting nothing. Just a lot of static. Now who hasn't done that? You can hear that cho uh, tone change when I go up. So who hasn't done that and tried to sit down and play a tune on it? We're all guilty, come on. Let's go up again. We've all done that, made a tune out that noise. Sounds like some bin data being transmitted there. So now I'm starting to get in some interference from somewhere. I'm not sure where this is coming from. But any moment soon, we should start getting a time signal. Very faint, you can hear it beeping. I think that's a time signal, it might be the rapid time signal or the MFJ clock or MJF clock. Let's go up again. Data has been transmitted. That sounds like a ZX81 cassette when you put a cassette in a normal tape recorder when you try and play it back. voices in the background there, but if I change it to AM, probably won't hear nothing. Let's go back to sideband, so lower, upper.
some more data there. And some QRM from somewhere. Let me start hitting the broadcast band again. So that was a quick listen on ELO and VLO. So we found some data being transmitted and a time signal. I'd like to say thank you to all my new subscribers and thank you for watching this video. Well done for subscribing. Keep subscribing, comment, like and I'll see you in the next video. If you find this video useful, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, the other button seems to work too. But I'll see you in the next one. This is 2E0 IQJ. Seven three.